This is Jesus Manuel Nena Garza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I talk about three reasons uh, you should buy a new expensive mirrorless camera. I also give you three cons, three negatives to why you shouldn't buy a new mirrorless expensive hybrid camera. What are the new expensive hybrid cameras? They include like this, the new Nikon Z series, the Z6, etc. And the new uh, Canon series, the R, I think it's the R5 and 6. And of course the Lumix S1R, etc, etc. And other, other manufacturers out there making some very nice full frame uh, mirrorless cameras. Of course, when you buy this new camera, you have to get rid of all your old stuff because these use proprietary new lenses, typically, okay? You can get an adapter, but, you know, it's better to buy the new glass that matches perfectly your new professional hybrid mirrorless camera. So I'm gonna give you three reasons, and I have my little notes right here, so excuse me if I look at them. Uh, Hope you're doing well again during the pandemic. So number one reason uh, you would want to buy a new professional hybrid mirrorless camera. You're a professional photographer, you get a tax write-off. You buy new equipment, you write it off in your, your taxes. So being a professional photographer, I'm not talking about somebody who does it you know, occasionally. I'm talking about a professional that's every day you know, five, six, seven days a week is shooting a lot of photographs, be it in the portrait studio, be it in a commercial studio, or traveling around the world doing travel uh, or uh, documentary photography and video, okay? You're shooting a lot of photographs. So you're shooting, you know, every week thousands upon thousands of photographs and hours upon hours of video. So that camera is going to wear out within a year, two or three, okay? So then, you can rationalize, say, hey, I gotta get a new camera because this thing is getting a little old and uh, not as working, you know, has some issues right now, and I gotta replace it. So you get a new camera and you upgrade it to the latest and greatest system. So that's number one. Number two, and this is a very good reason, a lot of the contemporary cameras that we have right now, you know, the older cameras like my uh, Nikon D800. My Nikon D800 only shoots a uh, you know, 1080p at uh, 30, you know, frames per second. So that's not very good. My my Lumix G85 right there shoots a uh, 4K at 30p, which is not, I mean, 30 frames a second. That's not too bad. So, but the newer cameras are shooting what? They're shooting 8K. Wow. And they're shooting 10-bit files. You know, my Lumix right there only shoots 8-bit files, which is, high-end consumer level but not professional you start getting into com you know commercial high quality professional uh, systems when you get to 10-bit which has a wider you know color gamut you know so for each color instead of 256 they have over a thousand colors very nice you know rgb spectrum that is nice so you want to shoot 8k you want to shoot it you know at 30 or 60 frames a second and you have the capacity. It's not going to overheat. It's not going to fall apart. And you got a good little hybrid camera. You want to shoot at, you know, big pictures. You want to shoot, you know, 40, you know, megapixel images. And you want to use the latest mirrorless glass out there, the top end glass. And it's lighter and more efficient, easier to tote around while you travel around the world or use it in your studio. So that's reason number two. Number three is a very obvious one. If you're uh, 18, 19, 20, or 30, who knows, when you're going to college or taking, uh, starting out a studio, you want to buy some new equipment. So you want to buy, you're not going to buy a bunch of old equipment. You're going to buy the latest and greatest equipment. You're going to buy the new Nikons, the new Canons, the new Panasonic cameras, etc., etc. You're going to buy some new cameras, some new glass, all the different accessories, the latest lights, etc. You're going to get all the latest and greatest stuff because you're going to write it off in your taxes and you want something that'll last for at least two, three, four, five years and then you're going to replace it eventually, okay? Let me talk about the cons. This is how I rationalize not saving the money. 
I wish I could spend the money. I would spend the money if I was 19, 20, 21 years old. I would spend the money, but not right now. I'm, you know, 68 years old. I'm about to retire. And I shoot only sporadically, to be honest with you. Only sporadically. So the number one reason is to save money on a new camera and lenses. You're on a budget. You can't go out there and buy a new two, three, four thousand dollar mirrorless professional hybrid camera. You can't spend that money. You just can't rationalize it. You're on a fixed income, etc., or just you just uh, only use can the camera, you know, once every other week for it take a few photographs. And of course, what happens to all your old lenses? You can't use them on the new camera unless you get an adapter, and at that it looks a little it's a little clumsy. So you want to have to buy all these nice lenses. You're gonna to have to buy a new 514 for 600 bucks. You have to buy the, the new zoom lenses, you know, the wide to medium and the medium to telephoto. And those are gonna to cost two, three thousand dollars each. And if you're a landscape, uh, you know, what do you call a wildlife photographer and you want that 400, 500 millimeter lens, you're gonna spend five, ten thousand dollars if they have those lenses available right now. They say eventually they'll have them, but they already have some of the, you know, more basic lenses. And those are going to cost a lot of money. They're going to cost a hell of a lot of money. So you're saving money and uh, you don't have to buy a bunch of new stuff. So you primarily shoot photographs. You primarily shoot photographs. I primarily shoot photographs on my Nikon. I use my Lumix for 4K video for my YouTube videos, but I primarily use my Nikon for photographs. I put it on my little Surui VH-10X, you know, head on my uh, Benro, uh, you know, carbon fiber sticks here, and I go out and I take photographs when I can. Right now during the pandemic, I'm stuck at home. I'm tired of photographing the stuff in the backyard. <laughs> it's like, I want to go somewhere. Maybe when the pandemic's over, I'll go out there and shoot a lot of photographs. But you shoot a lot of photographs. You don't shoot video. You don't need, need that 8K. You don't need you know, all the higher end video features, 10 bit, maybe even 12 bit, you know, some higher bit rates. You just, you're just happy photographing with a high quality camera and high quality lens. This is a high quality camera. It has high quality, you know, lenses and they take fantastic photographs. If you're a very good photographer, this will work for you. So if I, this one shoots like, I think 36 megapixel images. That's perfectly fine for most of my photographs. If I want some more, I would take one, two, three, four, five, six pictures if I'm doing a landscape and I'll stitch them together in Photoshop. So that works out for me. So you just uh, are primarily a photographer. And the final reason why you don't want to upgrade to a new mirrorless, fantastic camera. If you're rich, you can buy whatever you want. I understand. If you're rich, just ignore this video. Just buy whatever you want. Just you know, use it as an accessory and just call it good, okay? Number three, you're great, absolutely fabulous at Photoshop and other editing software. So you're fabulous in Photoshop. You can stitch all your photographs. You know how to do HDR. You can, you know crop this one and crop that out, move, you know, and make a panorama and do all kinds of fantastic stuff in Photoshop. You can make a mediocre photograph produced by somebody else, make it look good. And you're, since you're a great photographer, you're a fabulous photographer, you come out with some great photographs in, you know, 36 megapixels or 40 megapixels and you can, you know, add you know, you can stitch things together, you can manipulate the image, you can have a lot of fun with the image and, you know, tweak and make it, you know, those raw files really come to life and come up with fantastic color or in black and white. It's all up to you. So those are my three reasons you should buy the camera and the three reasons you shouldn't buy the camera. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments, your friendly comments, your professional comments below the description. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this modest channel of mine, JMM Garza, okay? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much in advance. Again, thank you very much for subscribing. I am just a photographer, a retired, you know, photographer and a person that worked in radio and television also, you know, during the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s, and up to about seven, eight years ago, I was doing professional work. But now I'm just, again, what am I? I'm retired. I only take photographs and video once in a while. And I have these uh, couple modest YouTube channels. 
Again, thank you very much for subscribing. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.